This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I'm on my way now. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video here in beautiful Sheshmet, Turkey. We have a lot of fun things happening today. As promised, we are heading out on a boat today. We're going to visit maybe some beaches and lagoons, we will see. But does it get much better than visiting the Aegean Sea on a boat? Right behind me is our vessel for the day. I'm so excited to finally get out there. We actually booked it a few days ago, so we've just been walking by every day, like seeing it. There are actually a bunch of tour companies that go out most days, so we had to, you know, pick and choose which one we wanted. And we chose this one for a number of reasons. One, the price was pretty good and we'll talk about that in a second. But also, they promote themselves as being really quiet, which we enjoy in the first place. We don't really like to go out on a party boat, but what you might not think about as being YouTubers, a lot of background noise, loud music can be really, really difficult to film. It also means you might get demonetized. Apparently they don't play a lot of loud music and they don't put too many people on the boat either, which is great. So we mentioned that we talk about the price. This only costs $35 US per person. It's a full day. There's three or four stops and it includes lunch. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal. People, maybe people from Turkey will disagree with us. We are on the shoulder season as well. I don't, not sure if it's more expensive in the summer and yeah. cheaper this time of year, but you'd have to find, come to find that out. We'll yourself. see if it's uh, a busy boat or not. They told us it's not gonna be too busy. So we're excited. If you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button because that just helps us out. Let's get on the boat. All right, here we go. Roll out the blue carpet. <laughs> So this is a, a big boat. There's like two or three floors. Right now we're on the bottom one. They said you can sit absolutely anywhere here. There's a lot of tables. So I think we're good for seats. We should, I think we also have maybe have a reservation for lounge chairs. All right, we just made it up to the top deck here. A lot of chairs are empty at the moment. We moved chairs. These are, well, we had them reserved. Yeah, they make seat reservations for you, <laughs> but we, we're sitting right beside another group of people, which that was a little bit odd, but they let us move over <laughs> to the empty area. Hopefully it stays empty. It's yeah. a little bit easier for filming. You, you guys can probably tell it's a little bit windy uh, so we're gonna take a ginger pill yeah one unfortunate thing about today is that it's actually calling for quite a bit of wind this afternoon this morning not too bad but there's I'd still say it's relatively windy I mm -hmm. hope it doesn't get too choppy that's the only thing about the wind and the fact that we might not be able to fly the drone if it's too windy but like yeah. I don't really like being out on the water when it's <laughs> like this Well, we're officially out here at sea now and it is so magnificently beautiful out here. Now, I had to come to the back of the boat though because there's some loud music up there. I didn't realize that they sat us right next to some big old speakers. It is chill music though. They said it's not party music, but still I can't film there. But we'll leave you with this scenery as we just sail across the Aegean Sea here. I can't get over the color of this water. And here's the thing, we're actually on our way to some really epic places. I think we're hitting up some islands around here. So we came up to the very top deck. I'm gonna try to walk without wobbling too much. We're going a little back and forth. It's not too bad at the moment. Hopefully don't cross too many ships and create a big wake, but we will see. Um, but this is a great view. There's literally nobody up here. I think a lot of people are trying to stay in the shade, but like they have loungers up here. Yeah, he and said, the best view. they told me that it's just kind of the relax area, but look yeah. at this, you guys. I mean, this is quite the relax area. There's no shade up here, like you said, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, this is awesome. You can see like the front of the boat that way, which we learned is the uh, bow? bow. I think it's yeah, the bow. bow. I think it's the bow. I think. <laughs> One thing while you're up here is you get to see all these little coves and little kind of beaches like you wouldn't even know existed. Huh? Exactly. It's funny how like you can be on land and think how gorgeous things are, but when you come out on the boat, you get to see stuff that you never even knew existed. Like there's a little cove over there <laughs> with uh, some loungers and stuff. I know. I We're even seeing like giant hotels carved into the cliff. Yeah. Like it's pretty wild what's uh, happening out here. While we're on our way to our first stop, we just wanted to say a huge thanks to Squarespace, our longtime partner, for being a sponsor once again. Squarespace is such a huge part of our daily lives. We, of course, built our own website on Squarespace, but we have a web design business that exclusively uses Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that helps you stand out and succeed online. There's now a brand new feature, Design Intelligence from Squarespace, which essentially takes cutting-edge AI technology and combines it with Squarespace's 20 years of leading design expertise. Squarespace Blueprint AI helps to build your website using the aspects of your brand that make you unique by using your existing color palette, fonts, and elements that already exist in your branding. Design intelligence takes creating a new website to a whole new level, allowing anyone to build a beautiful, more personalized website tailored to their specific needs. 
As always, get started by choosing one of their professional website templates with designs for every style that can easily be customized. They have dozens of templates to choose from as well as pre-built layouts. Are you ready to build your own website? Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash delightful travelers for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. And of course, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. stop here and everyone's kind of just jumping off the boat they're in this beautiful water we're just docked to a random little island as well and i think they're going to be cooking here all right well this is uh this is pretty cool you enjoying it yeah this is nice they give you noodles so you can easily float around they also do have life jackets for those people that are not comfortable swimming yeah this is nice i like the noodle i mean we're pretty good swimmers but this is uh, a cool concept especially that they're cooking back there we got a lot of people uh, the other uh, the other side of us here in the water really nice temperature as well it is not Cold. Not cold at all. It's refreshing. Though. It is very refreshing. We were just saying one of the nice things about going on a boat trip is you get to these kind of spots that you never get to on land. I mean, there's no way to get to this little rock where they're cooking. And yeah, the sights are just absolutely incredible. I always forget just how beautiful the uh, Mediterranean is. Yeah, on. it's very buoyant too. You don't really need a noodle. It's just kind of nice to be able to float around. <laughs> but if I didn't have it, I think I'd be like literally on top of the water. It's so buoyant yeah, here, it so is, salty. It is really bright here. Yeah. We were gonna take in our sunglasses, but we were like, well, if we lost those, that, that wouldn't would be good. <laughs> but stop number one. Is thumbs hit. up, yeah. big thumbs up. These are one of those things that I absolutely love when we do them. They're like so, probably some of my favorite, most memorable days, memorable days that we've ever had. When I think back to all our travels and stuff, and stuff like this, it really, really stands out. But we don't do it nearly enough. A couple of reasons. One, oftentimes they take up a full day. If you only have a couple days somewhere, it just is too much or you have to leave like super early in the morning and we're really bad at that by the way or you're out like 12 14 hours which i just find sometimes a little bit too much this one is just perfect i think we left at 10 30. i think we're supposed to get back around 5 30 so just perfect amount of, of time and then sometimes they're just way 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 too expensive but this one was really well priced well lunch has officially been served we had an option of chicken or fish i went for chicken trevor went for fish it also comes with a pasta and a salad as well and some bread as well. We also got a, a cheeky little beer to go with it. By the way, the alcohol is not included on this, but I think it was 200 per Yeah, beer 200 a beer, which is something like six US dollars, I yeah, believe. Some, something like that. So not cheap, but to be expected when you're uh, here on a boat. I mean, honestly, pretty much everywhere, beer is quite pricey these days, so they're not barking it up that much. I'm gonna try this barbecued chicken. I mean, they cooked it a long time over those beautiful, beautiful fires. So I have a feeling this is gonna be good cooked really really nicely nice and tender not too chewy really perfect the only thing I miss is some maybe some turkey meze Turkish mezes to like go around the table to dip the chicken in but otherwise this is really good so I went for the fish and I'll be completely honest I don't know what kind of fish this is because I don't speak Turkish <laughs> But it is a white fish, I asked that much at least. Well, I got a big old bite here. I soaked this up with lemon as well, and we'll just go right for it. Okay, this is good because I was smelling it, cooking on that little rock island over there. It's gonna do the trick today. So it is nice and fresh, but one thing you gotta be very careful about is the bones. I always forget when you get <laughs> fish, and uh, well, they're just cooking it right on that little island back there. Um, it's gonna be all full of bones. They don't kind of take them out. Not quite used to that. I might've went for the chicken instead if I had a thought more about it, but either way, it's really good. Hey, we're out on a random little rock island by a nice kind of rocky Mediterranean beach. I don't even know the name of where we are. I just know we're about like an hour or so away from Sheshma. And well, this day is going pretty well. We are now over at stop number two, and this place might even be more beautiful than the last stop. Look at the color of the water here, huh? Yeah, I didn't think we could beat the first stop, but this place is absolutely incredible. It's also super windy, so I'm very yeah. happy to be drone at the last place. Wish we could put it up here, but it's quite gusty. You can probably hear it. You probably see our hair flying all over the place. Yeah, it's okay. I think this time, we're not sure if we're gonna go in the water yet. We're just eight, so now we're all a little bit dozy, but we are gonna admire the insane views yeah. from the top tech here of this boat. It's funny, because we've obviously spent a lot of time in the, around the Aegean Sea, swimming in it. Actually, by, by the way, do you say Aegean or Aegean? 
Yeah, I feel we like were, everybody says, sure. I feel like every single person says it differently, so I never know the proper way to say it. <laughs> but maybe there is no proper way. Maybe it's just say it however you want. But it's funny, we always associate it with Greece more so than Turkey, but we spend pretty much as much time, almost as much time in Turkey on the Aegean Sea as we have in Greece. But the last time we were here in Turkey, we were a little bit south in Fethiye and Cash, but it was October. So I remember there were some boat tours, but it was kind of coming to an end. So it was a little harder to like schedule them and stuff because there might only be one a week. Um, and I think the wa it was getting a little bit chillier at that point. Yeah, I'd also say when you're in Sheshme, the town, it doesn't feel like this stuff is around here, right? And then you come out on the boat and you would never know that this is here. <laughs> it's just all these little coves, these little rocky islands. This part of the world has such unique landscape unlike anywhere else in the world. And you get these little islands that are just little rock islands all over the place. There's nothing on them. They're completely uninhabitable, but they're absolutely stunning. And then just because the white of the rocks, I think, causes this like crazy green, blue, mirage colors. It's so cool. So you guys know we spend a lot of time in the Caribbean, and this sort of has a Caribbean color, but I think because of the rocks, it makes it a little more kind of on the green side. This is what, slightly turquoise green. It's absolutely beautiful. Every time we come over here to like Turkey or Greece, we are in love with the landscapes. Plus, I mean, you guys heard us say this in some other videos. It's like perfect weather all the time. Now we're here in September and I think it rained for like two hours out of a whole entire week and it was while we were sleeping. <laughs> so every day we wake up, it's sunny and about 30 degrees and barely any clouds. It's pretty sweet. Well, we made it over to the last stop here and uh, yeah, I think it's just heat getting more beautiful. The color here is totally different than the last place. There's also a couple like abandoned structures here and we're surrounded by beautiful mountains. So yeah, it's a good day. I would call this a good day. This is an even better thing. This is an amazing day. As I think I said before, like whenever we do these things, it always ends up being one of those incredible days that I will probably remember forever. One thing we were talking about that we really like is there's quite a few boats out here doing these tours. But, however, they don't all go to the same place, which is great. So you don't have like hundreds of people. Yeah, because a lot, a lot of times there's like organized tours and every single boat does the exact same stop in the exact same order. So you think like, oh, we were the first ones here or something. And then five boats pull up and 300 people get off and you're like, oh, we don't have this to ourselves. And it gets really, really busy. Doesn't happen here at all. I will pass the boat and I'll think like, oh, that's probably where we're going. Nope, we go to like this private little cove. There's nobody else in it, so that's really nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the captains all kind of have their own little secret hidden gems and uh, this is one. I also just have to point out how amazing the boat looks against this water and just against the landscape that we're on in general. Ah, Turkey. We are loving it here. You can see uh, those structures that I was talking about just over here. They're kind of abandoned and uh, yeah, not in good shape. It makes me wonder what they actually were. I don't know if at some point was it do you think that was maybe like a stop you could go up and have a drink? I or? wonder if it was like a little stopover, a little watering hole along the way, or was it like a little fishing stop for like fishermen to go and stop into, or was it someone's house? And <laughs> what happened? Was there a storm or is it just abandoned and it's uh, <laughs> fell over in the meantime? By the way, we should tell them we're filming on the GoPro when we're in the water, so it of might course, sound yeah. a little strange. Yes. <laughs> there might be some wind noise, we're not sure. This is a new for us, it's a test. Yeah, we don't normally film with a GoPro and when we do on land, if we ever use it on land, which isn't very often, it has a little wind muff on it. And of course our regular camera has a wind muff and a very good mic on it. So it probably sounds very different at the moment. I'm sure some of you are wondering like, why haven't we said which islands, which little coves that we are in? Well, I think we said earlier, we don't speak Turkish and they are not really saying the names or at least we're not catching them. So if there are any Turks watching, Definitely let us know in the comments below if you happen to know. We go on Google Maps and try to see it. They don't really have names. <laughs> so it goes back to maybe the uh, maybe the captain's like, this is a, one of their secret little gems and they don't want anyone to know. I'm not quite sure. But if someone knows that's watching from Turkey, leave us a comment below. So doing like a day trip like this actually makes me curious what it's like to do those overnight, like week long trips that you can do on the Turkish boats. I forget what they're called, but it's kind of similar to this, like a traditional wooden boat. And I think they have like your own room and your own bathroom, and then you spend a few days and they cook for you. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> I don't know how much they are. I'm assuming they're not the cheapest things to do, but 
Makes me curious to do one maybe in the upcoming year or something like that. I was going to say, you're, that's our next adventure, that's is it? <laughs> well, I, we might be a little too late in the season for that one. I think maybe, so. Maybe if we're not, someone feel free to message us and invite us along. But, <laughs> but I have a feeling we're a little late. We're back over to Sheshme now and you can see the boat. What a day. That was, I'm just going to say, that was a blast. That was a highlight so far. Yeah, definitely a highlight. It's going to be one of those memorable things. I know I keep saying that, but it just... It was super special. If you're here, I would highly recommend yeah. doing it. I feel super sleepy and dozy at the moment. It was <laughs> well, so yeah, relaxing. I, I feel all salty as well. <laughs> I feel salty. Too. But we would highly recommend you guys uh, do this if you're in Cheshme. There's, I wouldn't say there's like tons to do around here. I mean, there's beaches, but a lot of it's the same. But that was totally unique in the price point with lunch and everything. So great. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So if you're new around here for some reason, it's Trevor and Anna. It's Delightful Travelers. Thank you for tuning in. Hit subscribe because there's more videos coming up here in Turkey. If you're not new, Thanks for coming back again. We really appreciate it every Sunday. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> From Sheshme, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.